Hello, welcome to the Steam Game Festival of Spring 2020 where I'm playing some of the demos that are available and this is a space for the unbound. Uh, I have written down that it is a slice of life adventure game with superpowers. What I mean by that, I don't know. I think I just read it off the um, Steam page. So let's press space and see what happens. It was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak and the cat was worried. Meow, Princess. Nya look sick, like sick meows. Ah, nya, okay? The cat meowed. The princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye, to leave the world behind. Oh no. I have something for you, my dearest friend. A parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something was shining bright on the palm of her hand, and it was the miracle. The cat was stunned, in awe, but it cried too. Oh, meow, princess. Please, no, do that. I no want to let Nya go, the cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone else just wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stared afterwards. Thank you for being my friend. Snap, I can't. Me neither. It was bright and warm. The glowing South Star Princess turned into sawdust and was scattered to the sky above. But a light stayed within this pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugs the flower to itself. Sob. Oh, Princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co writer? It was great. Your story was so touching and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure and the characters, I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, phew, I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. And then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that would be a brutal way to end this story. So I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think that's too violent and doesn't fit you at all. By the way, where did you get the idea for the comet? Well, it was last night. I was really upset and worried. And I looked outside the window for inspiration and suddenly saw a beautiful comet flash across the sky. Oh jeez, I wish I was awake last night. But still, I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it. Yes, it'll be more like an epilogue, but we can think of it as the final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will... Um... The yellow flower, they are about to, uh, hurt. Weird. Hmm, what's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we try to get out and, and get some fresh air? It may help you clear your thought. Hmm, okay. This is, I like this. I like the music. The music's really good. Like, it's set a good vibe already. Like you said, let's go outside and get some fresh air. And that story at the beginning was really sad. Like, nearly made me cry. Not even joking. How about now? Feeling any better? Um... I 
don't know. What happened? Do you have writer's block? I don't know. It feels like there's something dark and scary. It's making me too afraid to continue and find out what kind of story I wanted to tell. Hmm, I think that's definitely writer's block. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. The magic red what? The magic red book. Have you forgotten about it? The book which contains the spell to dive into our deepest heart and get rid of its turmoil. Oh, that red book. Yeah, we've used it now and again. Where is the book? Um, I think I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry, I'm so careless. Hey, no worries, I'll help you look for the magic red book. Hmm, maybe I put it somewhere around here. Can you look for something red? <laughs> okay, I'm on it. Double tap directional key to run. Right, well there's a book. Have you found the magic red book? Maybe I'll put it somewhere around here. Can you look for something red? Yeah. So we live in this dirty trailer. Right. I feel like that kind of book isn't something you should just leave lying around. <laughs> I found a red book. This must be the magic red book. Maybe it's not actually magic. I like the way this controls, actually. Hey, is this what you're looking for? The magic red book, you found it. Go on then, try to use the book. But, I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you... Can you help me, dear magical Mr. Co-Writer? Please, 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 please. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. Dancing flower, uh huh? Yeah, believe me. That's the power of the magic red book. And then you just open the book. Is that it? No dancing or chanting required? Yes, it is. Hurry up and just try it already. Alright, we're doing this to get rid of whatever it is you're s whatever it you're scared of it is you're scared of. And to find the final chapter that I wanted to tell. Let's dive in. I'm scared. I'm just too scared to think about the final chapter. To look for it. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Will everyone think I'm a weirdo? No, everyone will think I'm a weirdo. Just think. I've never finished anything before. This final chapter. Will I ever be able to finish it? Yes, we will finish it together. I picked up a key. I wonder what door it opens. Weirdo. That is the stupidest thing I've ever read in my life. Fantastical nonsense. Waste of time. Waste of ink. Delusional. Should've just focused on your grades, little girl. It was big, bright and warm. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust. And was scattered into the sky above. But her light stayed within this pretty yellow flower. I 
I had an idea. It might be useful. This is cool. This story... I'm still afraid. But this... Could I... Should I tell the story? Should I finish it? Yes, this could be it. Whoa, I just realized how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in outer space. Kind of like an outer body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you use the magic red book. I think space dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space dive? Hmm. That sounds cool. And informative. Yeah, you're diving into the space of my heart. So, space dive. And does this space dive ritual actually help? Yes, I finally decided what the ch final chapter will be. Oh, wow. Cool. For real? Yeah, it's the big blue star. The big blue star? Yes, the big blue star. It called her. When the South Star Princess died, she wished to return there to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly. And the good news is, I've already built the ship. Mr. Colwright's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Princess's story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? Well, if you say so. So then. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> to the final chapter. Yes, the final chapter. Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Yeah. All we need to do is build a spaceship. Whoa, a spaceship? Yes, the cat will escort the yellow flower to the big blue star with the spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built the ship by myself. What? When did you... Can I see it? Where is it? Ha! I've been working on it for the last three weeks, right after school. It's supposed to be a surprise for you. And of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river. So you wouldn't find it. Crossing the river by yourself? That's so dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times now. And look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is... Of course, the Star Princess's magic wand. And... I left it at home. Oh, well. That sucks. Should we go and pick it up? N no, I, I can't go there right now. My house is... No good for me now. My father, he's... Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room, right? I'll go get it. Uh, is that really okay? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries, I'm stealthy like a cat, you know. I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help you as much as I can, but... You have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together and we'll finish it together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? My room's on the second floor and the magic wand is somewhere on my table. Oh, one more thing. If you get lost, my cat, Bosk, Bosk, will always know where to go. Copy that. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at the base camp. It's quite dangerous to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right. But the air is so nice and fresh here. It might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You said that already, you know. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I wanted to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Oh, 
No need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Cool. So we're going to go to our house. Oh, so it's across the river you go on a boat. Go to a house to get the magic wand. Uh, I guess it's like not really a magic wand. It's just something for a story. I'm not sure. Hey, have you found the magic wand yet? My room's on the second floor and the magic wand is somewhere on my table. If you get lost, my cat will know, always know where to go. Right. Hey, kitty. Oh. I love cats. Oh yeah, I see where we are. But this is not where we were heading, is it? This doesn't have a second floor. Gotta stroke all the cats. Who is this looking at us? Oh, there's so many cats. Gotta stroke them all. Oh, the cats. Okay. Hello. Hey, slow down, dude. The traffic's bad enough as it is. You want me to hit your fancy car, huh? I thought you were talking to me. Oh, we're going on quite a trek. Freshly fried Kimmel, hot and something. Delicious Kimmel. Come and get your Kimmel. What's Kimmel? Comet Killer Mall. Comet Kimmel. Maybe I should change the name to something more attention grabbing. I'll have a spoonful of that hot sauce. Just one? Give me two spoons. I like it spicy. But that's tomato ketchup. It looks like hot sauce. That still counts, right? Love ketchup. Behold, the great comet of doom has torn up the sky. The stars are dying, our sky is falling. Disasters, diseases, floods and droughts are ravaging the lands. Can't you see it? Oh yeah, they actually are, that's true. The mountains are trembling, ready to erupt any time. Oh, wandering soul, have you seen last night's news? The comet of doom has finally come. Don't you want salvation, my dear child? That must be the comet that she saw, right? For only one million rupees, as you can own this spirit-infused gemstone made from a meteorite. This gemstone is a holy talisman that will save you from the cataclysm. What? You don't believe me? How dare you? This gemstone was crafted by uh, um, the famous oracle Jayabha himself. No, that's not it. Jayabhaya. Jayabhaya himself. What? No money? Well, I guess it is your destiny to be cursed then. Okay, fair enough. There's a theme of comets though, right? Kids these days are just the worst. Back in my day, <laughs> back in my day, we have to do whatever our parents told us to do. Is it one of these houses? Sup, dude? What do you think? Huh? What? I'm sorry? This Kernon Chong beat. 
It's a mix I recorded myself. So what do you think? Uh, yeah, cool. Totally awesome. Dude. I know, right? Not everybody appreciates... Canon... Can especially these days. <laughs> It's an old music genre brought over by the colonials and then perfected by our locals. It's soothing, you know? A perfect companion for people looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo. It's a gift. Huh. Oh no, you don't have to. Please, dude. It's such a rare occasion meeting a fellow fan, you know? Besides, I can always make another whenever I want to. Uh, thanks very much, I guess. Okay. I don't really understand music, though. Oh. There's a sign on this ladder. This ladder is a property of a civil defence officer. Don't touch. Okay, so we can um, like interact things together. Hmm, in today's news, another interstellar comet has been sighted flying over the city. It's a third comet to be seen this week. Neither the government nor the National Space Agency have released any official statements regarding these peculiar events. Huh, looks like the world's gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me, I'm already married. House should be around this block. It's quite a long journey. Uh oh, somebody's here. Hello, Mrs. Dewey. Are you going to the meeting too? Why don't we walk over there together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No, that's her mum, isn't it? What's the matter? Is there a problem? My daughter. Lately, she's been afraid of going to school. And my husband. Well, Things aren't going well with his boss. He's been a little stressed over, well, over the money we've had to borrow to get Nirmala into school. And and he's taken it all out on Nirmala. Today, she locked herself in a her room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. Why has she been scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to them about all of this but I really don't know what to say well why don't we go to the meeting a little early and we can talk about this on the way yes yes that's a good idea thank you don't worry you can share your problems with me that's what neighbours are for right they're gone <sighs> now's my chance so my dad's been taking her money his money problems out on her Hmm, this must be our house. The gate is locked, but her father is likely inside. It'll be dangerous to sneak through the front door. Maybe it'll be easier if I pretended I was here to visit her. But I can't risk letting her father know that she sneaked out of the house. Besides, he'd think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all way too risky. But I have to tell, I have to get that magic wand for her. What should I do now? Meow. Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, that window on the second floor must lead directly to her room. Now, how am I supposed to reach the second floor? We'll find a way. Climb up this lamppost. I might be able to reach the second floor if I could walk across this wall. But the wall itself is too high for me to reach. Hmm, if only there was something I could climb or stand on. Oh, there was a ladder, wasn't there? We went past a ladder before. Hmm. 
The road is closed due to residence activities. So we can't climb up the lamppost then. I think we go and find this ladder that we went past. Did we talk to this guy? Busy, yawn. I'm always so busy and sleepy. Exactly what an exemplary, low paid civil defence officer should be. Hey kid, what are you doing with my ladder? I, uh, I'm just amazed by your ladder, sir. Wow, this ladder looks really strong. And chrome. <laughs> Have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble, kid. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? I wish I... Yawn. Could get some sleep, though. Damn, I could definitely use that ladder to get to Nimala's room. Do I have anything else with me? A magic red book. Is that useful right now? Hmm... Interesting. What's this going to do? Space dive. Whoa, that flower is blooming. I wonder what will happen if I make all those flowers bloom. Yawn, sleepy, staying awake for the comet sighting last night eventually takes a toll on my sleep schedule. I've been keeping myself busy to stay awake, but now all I really wish is for a good night's sleep. But I can't sleep just yet. Not without shutting off that loud ringing sound. Not without turning off those darn bright lights. Of course, not without listening to my favourite <laughs> Kuron Chon music. Oh, how I wish for a good sleep. A strange clock. Couldn't turn it off. Hmm. Does he have a ladder in his cupboard? Not a ladder, a hammer in his cupboard. I'll smash it. Found a button. I sh should I resort to violence? I think so. Don't make me repeat myself, kid. Stay away. Nice. I like this concept. This is cool. Oh wow, he's fast asleep already. Thanks to this magic red book, I guess. He won't mind if I borrow the ladder then, will he? Time to pick up the magic wand. I love how the ladder just vanishes into our pocket. I feel like we could have found a way to just climb up there. <laughs> Maybe not. Oops. Thanks, kitty. Star Princess's magic wand. I still can't believe she managed to come up with all these wonderful things. Nermala, what a precious, talented kid. I got the magic wand. Oh god. Brat, open the door. You're on grateful waste of space. How dare you lock this door? You're skipping school again, aren't you? 
Open the freaking door. You're still freaking doodling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't you? Have you got any idea how much money I have to borrow just to get you into a decent school? And this is how you repay me, you spoiled little brat? Oh snap, things are getting tenser on here. I better get out of here before our father smashes this door open. It's starting to rain. She should be waiting for me at the base camp. Let's get out of here. My dad needs to chill the F out. The rain is getting heavier. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope she's reached the base camp by now. So, my question is, like, what's their, um... Relationship? Because is this a little kid? And then this is, like, an older guy? Not an older guy, but... A teenager? Don't know. Well, it's setting it up for something too bad to have happened, isn't it? Because... Why would it be raining like that? She's not here. Where is she? She hasn't got here yet? Help! Someone, anyone, help! Help somebody. Well, you can walk a bit faster than that. That voice, don't tell me. Where did that... I don't know which direction it came from. Oh, no, this way. The cat's gone this way. Mister, help, help me. I can't swim. Don't die. No, Mala. Help me, I can't swim. Damn, I can't swim either. Hang on, I'll have to find someone, something to reach her. Just come here quick, please. I don't think I can hold on much longer. I'm scared. Here, try to grab the wand. Ah. Was that lightning? Yeah. Damn it. S sorry, I was startled by that thunder. Don't worry, I will get you out from there. Hold on. Alright, try to grab the book. Uh, easy. Easy. Just a little bit. Atma. Atma. Oh dear, we fell in the water. Gasp. I... I'm... Cough. Coming. Gasp. Coming to get you. Oh shit. We'll make it together. I have. We have. Oh no. A story to finish. Right? Oh no, don't.
guessing that's the end of the demo. Shoot, you can't be dead, no? Did he die? I think he died. Was that her like holding his um, light? Like how the cat was left with the light? So finished! Atma, Atma, hey, wake up you lazy bum. It was a dream. Ugh. Rhea? What the hell was I just dreaming about? To be continued. Hmm. After school, my favorite bridge, there will be a firework. Woohoo. I didn't see that quick enough. Is this like a trailer? That's a comet. <clears throat> we didn't die. Thank goodness we didn't die. I was so upset. Comet just land on her. Oh, heck. really nice it played so well like it felt uh like how i just played the other one before that didn't feel like it played very well this one played like really smoothly um like that it was just dead easy to control it flowed very nicely and i'm a bit intrigued um now looking at this artwork as well like that other girl's got something to do with it it's like, I'm not sure what's imagination and what's real and um, stuff like that. Because that giant cat, excuse me, that giant cat came down. And it was like the cat from the story. But was the story even real? Because he was like, what was I just dreaming about? I liked it. I think that could be really good. Do you know what? I'd seen people make some posts um, or tweets or something saying like that this was disappointing the space for the unbound they didn't like it and i thought oh it was going to be like some of you know some of the other ones that i've played that i wasn't so fussed about but no i thought this was one of the better ones so i'm gonna to have to go and find them and see what they were saying now that i've played it because um no i really liked that i thought that was really good so that was a space for the unbound and we have one more demo left and then I'll see tomorrow if I think about because there are quite a few other ones now that I've re-looked at my list there's a few other ones that I do want to try as well but I've been doing this a lot now and I need to get some of the other videos done so that I can then put these out so I'm not quite sure I am figuring out what I'm doing but um we've got at least one more after this so thanks for watching and I like this one this is going on my wish list and I will catch you later Bye-bye.